Well, hello, everybody. Um, we're going to do a uh, stick with me today. Yes. And um, just been looking for tag questions. Now, the masturbation tag, that one was a big hit. So it's hard to compare with that. You know, a lot of research to find funny tags. So we've got one that's sexually themed. Um, she's only read like the first two, so she's not quite sure what she's getting herself into. Anyway, um, get the little ones out of the room because this could get rather nasty. Anyway, it's going to be a little on the raunchy side, so sensitive viewers, You've been warned. You might want to skip this one. Um, everybody else, grab a pencil and paper or something and uh, keep track of your answers because we want to hear what you have to say. Oh, do we want to hear what you have to say. Anyway, see you at the end. Well, hello, everybody. It is Sunday, November something or other. And you know what Sunday means. Sunday, Sunday, Sunday. Football, football, football. So we're going to do a stick with me. Tags. Would you rather questions? All right. And I'm using my, my little bleachers. And I did... Um, these are going to be out of sequence, these videos, as far as when I did this, because I recorded doing this section for chapter of the book. So if you get confused later on, when you see me going back to here, that's why I'm posting out of order, but we're going to work on the final section of this so that we can start a new painting. And, um, let me get you set up for... Recording and today's topic is again off of Bud, BuzzFeed. Yeah, okay. Because, you know, embarrassment is funny. Okay. Now, the thing to keep in mind with this particular tag is this little section right here. We asked the BuzzFeed community to tell us their wildest, funniest, and most awkward sex horror stories. It's time to find out which of these hilariously awful yet true events you'd rather experience. So, again, keeping in mind, this is going to get probably pretty, uh, Pretty well solidified into the R-rated category, but they're all true. So let me get you set up and we'll get going on the questions. All right. One second. All right. I think I think that's pretty good. As far as setup. All right. Now I've got lots of videos that are in the works but they all take a lot of editing and these stick with me's there's like hardly any editing whatsoever so these are really nice to be able to have some time to work on something and just throw the video out there versus the other stuff where the prep can be done little bits at a time but then it takes forever to edit like reading that takes a really long time. Anyway, okay. So, again, BuzzFeed. 
and I will try again to remember to put the link to this particular would you rather in the description. Okay. I already know just from reading the first two that this is going to be awkward. Okay. <clears throat> oh my goodness. A little nervous. A little nervous. But then again, it didn't happen to me. Maybe. We'll see what happens. But um, yeah, these are true stories. Okay. Let me get something started and then I'll start with the questions because I've got to gotta avoid the multitasking. All right, and we're going to do the whole darn thing. Whether or not we'll finish it during this particular tag, I don't know, but I'm going to at least uncover it all. There we go. All right. And let me get a color ready. First question. Oh my goodness. All right. Would you rather have your dad walk in on you during anal sex, causing your boyfriend to pull out super fast and make you poop all over his stomach? Okay. Now you know how, why the warning at the beginning. Okay, that's one scenario. Or would you rather eat a guy's ass out during a threesome and he accidentally sharts in your mouth? Oh my gosh. Now again, keep in mind that these <laughs> were true. I don't think the threesome was necessary for the question because even one-on-one, -on -one, that's horrifying. But, you know, it really happened. So which one would I rather do? Oh my God. Okay, so let's analyze this. So my choices are having my dad see me shit all over my boyfriend's stomach during anal or have a third party who is not my father witnessing this act where somebody actually sharts in my mouth. So I've got shit in my mouth. But my dad doesn't know about it. But then again, I have to participate in a threesome. Hmm. Oh my gosh. Well, gee whiz. Um, oh my God. Plus I'd have to eat some guy's ass out. Ugh. Oh my God. Well, that ain't happening. So I can guess I'm going to have to have dad walk in because I am not doing that. Not doing it. Oh, I hope they get a little easier. <laughs> oh man. Okay. Oh, I guess I get to actually answer the quiz so that, uh, um, Oh, they give you the, the percentage of answers. So 69% of people would rather have their dad walk in. Okay. Oh, my goodness. Okay. Next question. Would you rather go to your friend's house to surprise her with a birthday cake only to find out she was hosting an orgy and you were the only one not invited? That sounds perfectly fine to me. Or... Start your period midway through an orgy and get blood on everyone, making it look like a crime scene. I would rather show up with a birthday cake and find out I wasn't invited to the orgy. I'm good with that. As well as 89% of the population. Okay. Oh my gosh. All right. Oh my goodness. I'm not going to be able to get much done with these questions. I'm telling you that right now. All right. Uh, would you rather dislocate your jaw while trying to give a blowjob because his penis is too big? Okay. Or 
Go down on someone while she's on her period. Realize you swallowed a blood clot and then throw up in front of her. Oh. Um. I'd rather dislocate my jaw, I guess. Yeah. I, I think so. Yeah, I, I'd rather do that. As well as 82% of the population. Okay, so, so far I'm, I'm with the majority on all three of these questions. All right. Let's see here. <laughs> oh my gosh. Oh man. Would you rather hook up with a guy who asks to blow air into your butt so he can suck out your farts? Oh my god. Well, who wouldn't want that? Oh. Or Hook up with someone who likes to, oh God, hook up with someone who likes to suck zits off your body and use the pimple pus for his personal pleasure while touching himself. Oh my God, they're, oh my God, I'm, oh my God, and these are real, these are true, they, no, people made this shit up and sent it in, really? Oh, my God. Oh, God. I'm going to go with blowing air in my butt, I guess. Because, you know, that sounds like fun. 79% of people would agree with me. Oh my gosh, this is unbelievable. Really? Okay. Oh my gosh. Whew. I mean, that could be a party game, right? Just let, let the friend with the orgy know that that's, you know, going to be the new contest for door prizes. Would you rather have your one night stand call her mom immediately after sex to announce that she's just lost her virginity or fart loudly as you climax, try to move away in embarrassment, accidentally pull the other person off the bed with you and you both fall on the floor? Um, I'd rather they call their mom and announce their virginity. As well with 63% of the population. Okay, so, so far, my, my choices are like right on par with everybody else, apparently. Nothing strange here. Okay. <sighs> I might have gone a little too far with this line of questioning. Would you rather get a butt plug stuck up your butt, try to fish it out with your fingers, and accidentally poop in your hand? Okay, well, so far it sounds like I can be alone on this one. Okay. Or randomly faint during sex and wake up to your partners and their mom hovering over you screaming and trying to help. Um, again, I'll go back to number one because it sounds like I can be alone on that one. I accidentally poop in my hand. 65% of people would agree with me. All right. I'm not feeling so strange. <laughs> feeling rather naive, but not so strange. Okay. All righty. How's everybody doing? 
Do I need to put the don't eat or drink warning at the beginning of this video? Probably. I mean, who's got an appetite listening to this? Okay. Oh my goodness. Would you rather bottom for the first time and release what looks like a gallon of beef stew from your ass, causing your grinder hookup to puke on you. Oh, I'm going to have to Google bottom. I know, I'm an old lady who doesn't know what this shit means. Or I can just go in the other room and ask the kids. Bottom for the first time and release what looks like a gallon of beef stew from your ass, causing your grinder hookup to puke on you. Or try to have sex with your S.O. on a hike, but trip S.O. significant other. I know that one. Try to have sex with your significant other on a hike trip while taking off your pants so you fall off a small cliff and have to go to the hospital. Um, I'll take that one. I'll take that one. Yeah, I'll take that one. That seems less weird. Ooh, only 10% of people would agree with me. Oh, no, no. They, they flip-flopped. No, 90% of people would rather fall off a cliff. Okay. They have the answers in reverse order. Okay. Oh my goodness. All right. Do I have all the equal signs done? Yes, I do. Okay. Let's keep moving. Pretend this is all very normal. All right. Would you rather somehow snap the frenulum on your penis during sex and it starts gushing blood everywhere? Or have one of your friends start dating your dad, they ultimately get married, and your friend insists that you call her mom. <laughs> well, if I really like my friend, then I, you know, I, yeah, I'll have him call me mom. Call her mom. Yeah. I'd rather have my friend marry my dad. Sure. 61% of people would agree with me. Okay, that's good. All right. That was actually in a movie that we watched within the last year where, oops, I missed a couple. I'm trying to think of what the movie was, but yeah, it was two guys and the one married the other, his roommate's, college roommate's mother. All right. Let's see here. Let's get these done. Oh my gosh. That one wasn't so bad. All right. Would you rather lose your balance during sex and fall headfirst into a glass door, shattering it, or accidentally pocket dial your mom and have her listen to you orgasm? Um, hmm. I'm going to go with, uh, this door and shattering it. Well, the door would be expensive to replace. It doesn't say I'd get hurt. It would be a good laugh between the two of us. Again, mom listening to me orgasm. That one I could play off as a practical joke. Oh gosh, which one? I'm going to go with the glass door. I'll shatter the glass door. Because that's going to be a good story for many years to come. That you can share with people. You're not going to joke around with mom for years to come about. Remember that time I butt dialed you during an orgasm? Then again, depending on that relationship that you have with your mom, maybe you would. I don't know. I, I had that kind of relationship with my mom. I did. But then she never liked anybody I dated. So 
It wouldn't be so funny for her. Okay. 69% of people would, would go for the glass door. Okay. Still on track with everybody else. All right. Y'all hanging in there? Everybody doing okay? Okay, let me see here. I need to put this one away. And let's grab this one. Oh. Yeah, these types of questions aren't conducive to getting a lot done because you got to be reading constantly. It's not like I've got long stories to share of when this happened to me. Okay. Um, let's see here. Oops. All right. Would you rather go to an orgy and have a heart attack mid-coitus? It sounds like you're going to survive or who cares, you know. Um, or, but then again, hold on, let's analyze that. Go to an orgy and you have a heart attack mid-coitus, which means it's in the middle, not at the end, which means you're going to finish during the heart attack. Because if you don't finish, then no matter how far you got, whether you finished completion or not, that would still be the end of the coitus. So apparently it's so mild that you get, you know, you can finish. Am I overanalyzing this? Perhaps. So heart attack mid-coitus. Or lose your glasses during your first orgy. Get so embarrassed that you leave the room and then have to wait while naked for everyone to finish up so you can go back in and search for your glasses. Well, come on now. Really? How blind are you without your glasses that you couldn't continue to participate? Because, you know, you're at the orgy. Hmm. I mean, is it required that you get so embarrassed you go sit outside naked? That just seems... Seems silliness. That's silliness. I mean, why are you so embarrassed you lost your glasses? I don't know. Um, but then I'd have to participate in an orgy. I'll go with... Uh, I'll go with... Oh, both of them are orgy. Go to an orgy and have a heart attack. Or lose your glasses. Well, everybody's going to see me having a heart attack. That's more embarrassing than losing your glasses. I'm going to go with losing my glasses. It's not an easy choice. Yeah, 89% of people would rather lose their glasses. Yeah, I think so too. All right. Okay. <sighs> All right. Let me get prepared here for this one. Some of these are just awkward to read. Imagine that. Okay. Would you rather... These are so raunchy. And I apologize to those of you. Again, refer back to that warning. I don't know that it's going to get any better. You have to have a certain sense of humor to be enjoying this. Okay. Would you rather get face fucked by a guy whose penis is bigger than the circumference of your wrist... And when he pulls out of your mouth, it's covered in blood because his giant penis destroyed your throat. That does not sound pleasant. Or would you rather have an allergic reaction to the lube and get hives all over your body? I'll go with the hives. Yeah, 72% of people will go with the hives rather than like severe damage to your throat. Okay. My goodness. Now, this might be a little beyond my uh, 
typical rating videos. It's really dirty. This is like pornographic. Can, can, who can we imagine? What other YouTubers can you imagine actually doing this quiz? And which ones can you not in a million years? <laughs> oh, goodness. I don't even know why I'm doing it. Okay. Oh, God. Oh, God. Okay. Not a good choice overall on this next one. All right, kids. Would you rather eat someone out but get toilet paper remnants in your mouth because they didn't clean properly? Or have someone try to come in your mouth but they accidentally pee? Oh, God. Oh. So one of them, the nastiness happens to you, and the other one, the nastiness happens to you. Oh, God. Jesus. All right, well, one of them, P is, is sterile, right? Versus... The other option, I guess we'll go with the P. 50, this one was close. This is a close call on what people would prefer. 53% would rather have accidental cum pee in their mouth. Okay. Mm. Mm -mm -mm -mm. All right. <sighs> Would you rather get fingered by someone who just ate buffalo wings, causing your insides to feel like they're on fire, or get part of the skin on your dick torn off because it got stuck on someone's braces? Ugh. Okay. So do I want my hoochie on fire or my dick ripped off? Mm. Okay, I'm going to go with the uh, buffalo wings just because, you know, they do make lube with heat. <laughs> 71% of people would agree with me. Okay. Again, I'm apologizing for the this content. If it offends you, you've been watching way too long. You should have shut this thing off a long time ago. For the rest of you, let's carry on. Okay. All right. Would you rather accidentally have sex with your tampon in and then have to wait in the emergency room for nine hours to get it removed? What? Really? You can't get that out yourself? Or fall off the bed during sex and hit your head on the bedside table, resulting in a gash that needs stitches. Well, the first one I would not happen to me. I mean, who doesn't have tongs in the kitchen? <laughs> Oh, I guess I'd rather have my tampons st cause stuck because that doesn't sound like that's, you know, a serious injury. Probably isn't even, I don't know, might not even be painful. Okay, we're going to go with the tampon. Really? 77% of people would rather hit their head and need stitches. Okay, so I was not with the majority on that one. All right. Okay, next up. Let's see. I need another color first. Hold on. Let's find a color. Um, we're going to go with... I 
need, let me see here. There we go. Okay. Would you rather have sex on a pool table and your significant other randomly shoves a pool ball? <laughs> okay, I just dropped shit. Okay. Mm. Okay, would you rather... <laughs> Have sex on a pool table and your significant other randomly shoves a pool ball up your butt and then you have to painfully walk upstairs to fish it out of your ass in the bathroom. <laughs> Ow! Or have anal sex, poop on the guy's dick, and then try to clean it up with a sock while you cry. <laughs> First one. Nobody's crying in that one. <laughs> oh. Again, not in the majority on this one, but it was a close one. Only 46% would rather get the pool ball shoved up their butt. 54% would rather poop on the guy's dick and clean it off while crying. All right. Oh, I guess that's it. Okay, as long as we're on the, you know, disgusting sex questions. Let's keep going. Oh, there's a couple of them here. All right, we're going to go with the hardest and grossest game of Would You Rather for Girls. That sounds fun. Why am I on this gross stuff? I don't know. All right. Okay. Okay, girls. Here we go. Get your pen and paper ready. <laughs> Would you rather wear the same bra for a month or wear the same thong every day for a week? Yeah, I, I'll wear the same bra for a month. Yeah. Yep, absolutely. Okay. Would you rather use a rusty razor clogged with hair or use a lipstick that dropped on the floor and is covered in fluff? Well, I've done both. So, which one I'd rather do? I guess the uh, the lipstick. Because the rusty razor, unless you've had a tetanus shot, mm, avoid. All right. questions yeah we're on a on an unpleasant train aren't we okay would you rather not be able to wipe after you pee for a week or wear the same pair of leggings with no underwear for a week um i would rather pee without being able to wipe for a week doesn't say you can't bathe but those leggings, mm-mm, nope. Okay. Would you rather only use mascara that's been shared with five other people or use dirty makeup brushes that haven't been washed in a year? I'll use the dirty makeup brushes because that's my dirt, right? Yeah, I'll go with that one.
you can get pink eye from using somebody else's mascara. Isn't that what it is, pink eye? I don't know. I think so. All right. Would you rather have to wear the same pad all day while on a heavy period or no pad or tampon on a light flow? They're both bad. Um, I'll go with no pad or tampon on a light flow, I guess. It doesn't say you can't use, you know, something else in there, paper towels or something. We'll go with that one. Not a good choice either way. And and just so you know, each one of these questions comes with pictures of the two choices. I'm not I'm not showing the pictures. Maybe I'll add them later. We'll see. We'll see what happens. Okay. Here we go, girls. Would you rather have to pull out a big clump of long hairs that have gathered in your butt cheeks? Or pull out a long ingrown hair? Um, not that I necessarily need to share too much information, but I, I tend to. I'm going to go with the butt cheeks because, you know, what's wrong with that? Some of us have to do that on the reg. Okay. Okie dokie. Moving on. Some of us have to do both of those on a reg regular basis, but, you know, one of them hurts. Okay. Oh, this is a fun question. All right. Would you rather have a massive... Sorry, let me start that over. Have massive blood clots on your period, but your bowels are fine, or have no blood clots, but have your... Bowls be fucked. <laughs> hmm. Which of those would I prefer? I'm going to go with big old blood clots, but my bowels are fine. We'll go with that one. Oh, you know, I, I was supposed to be hitting the results on these, and I didn't. Well, I guess I can start now to see how the majority of people would go. Yeah, 84% of people would agree with that one. Should I back up? Yeah, let's let's go back. See what everybody else would do. I'm so sorry. Okay. Again, I'd wear the dirty bra. 96% of people agreed with the dirty bra versus the dirty thong. The uh, lipstick... Versus the razor, 66% of people would take the dirty lipstick over the rusty razor. Toilet paper, no toilet paper while you pee versus the leggings. That one was pretty tied. 51% of people would, would abstain from toilet paper for a week. The mascara that five people used are the dirty makeup brushes. Oh, 58%. I was not in the majority. 58% of people. No, no, they flipped it around again. Yeah, 58% of people would use dirty makeup brushes rather than 
communal mascara. Um, the no pad on a light flow or the same pad all day on a heavy flow, 55% of people would go with no pad on a light flow day. The hair in the butt versus the ingrown hair, 53% of people would prefer to have to pull out the big clump of long hair that's in your butt. Okay. And then 84% of people would take massive blood clots over fucked bowels. Okay. Back in, back in line with where we should be. Okay. Did it get all my fours? Yes, it did. All right. Would you rather always be able to feel crumbs in your bra, but not be able to get them out? Or always feel like you have a wedgie and not be able to pull it? Well, when I used to wear a thong, that was how it felt all the time. Um, but I don't ever want to wear a thong again. Well, that was years or past. Behind me. Behind me. Okay. Um, I'll go with the... Oh, gosh. But it's always... I'll go with the crumbs in the bra versus the wedgie. I can walk unimpeded with crumbs in my bra versus the wedgie. I be walking weird all the time. I go with crumbs in my bra. 70% of people would agree with that. Okay. Alrighty. Next up. Would you rather always have loads of gray sludge under your nails and never be able to cover it with polish? Or always have chapped lips but no lip balm? Hmm. Good Lord. Well, I guess chapped lips are uncomfortable physically. And dirty fingernails are not uncomfortable. And people are going to see your face all the time. But they're not necessarily going to notice your fingernails. So I'm going to go with my fingernails. 54% of people would agree. Okay. Would you rather, that was a tough one, would you rather have constantly greasy hair but no flakes or have not greasy hair with large dandruff flakes? Oh, I don't want either one. Hmm. That's a tough one. I guess I would rather have the dandruff than greasy hair. Oh, 66% of people would rather have grease, greasy hair than dandruff. It's a tough one. Okay. That's the end of the quiz, but again, sometimes the comments at the end are just as entertaining. So, I've got, uh, Angel Lamb says, am I the only one who sees the bruises on that girl's ass? Can we talk about that for a minute? I'll have to show you the girl's ass. So that was the one with the perpetual wedgie. Let me find it.
She's got bruises on her bum. Okay. And the other one was... Oh, are we not supposed to wear the same bra for a month? <laughs> okay. Okay, here's here's one that sounds a little more fun. Okay. We'll see. I don't know. I have no idea. This one is... Ladies, can you guess what percent of women do these gross things? Okay, so this is like our disgusting edition. Okay, so here's the uh, little blurb about this quiz. A while ago, we did a post asking women about their gross lady habits, and the results were positively enlightening. Can you guess what they were? All right. Stupid ads. Drive me crazy. You make that X so that you can't close out of it without clicking on it. Jesus criminy. Let's get back to the quiz. Okay, guess I'm gonna have to deal with it. All right, what percent of women had to fish crumbs out of their bra? 83% or 56%? Who hasn't had to do that? I suppose flat-chested women or women who wear only turtlenecks? I don't know. I would think that it happens to pretty much anybody. I'm going to go with 83%. I guess we don't get our results till the end. Okay, next question. Oh, maybe that green check mark means I got it right. I, can't, I don't know. What percent of women wear their bra for weeks on end before washing it? 45% or 27%? Hmm. It's not a huge margin. Weeks on end. I'm going to go with 27%. No, it's 45%. Okay. That's still believable. Next question. What percent of women would wear a used sports bra again as long as it wasn't sweaty? 62% or 35%? I'm going to go with 62%. It's not sweaty, right? That is correct. All right. What percent of women have thoroughly inspected their period for blood clots? 69% or 89%? Come on, girls. I'm going to say 89%. Nope. Oh, only 69%. Still the majority of us. Okay. All right. Let's see. What color shall I do now? Let's do this one. I'm not making much progress here. Okay. What percent of women have knowingly used very old makeup? 
I guess that depends on what you consider very old. Is it 76% of women or 59? I'm going with 76% of women have knowingly used very old makeup. Yes, 76. Okay. <laughs> really? Okay. What percent of women play with their pubes in a non-sexual way? <laughs> Is it 27% or 81%? I'm going to go 81%. Yep. All right. What percent of women have snipped their knickers to check if they're clean or not? 33%? Or 78%? I'm going to guess 78%. Yes. What percent of women would wear a pad or tampon for as long as possible, i.e. until it leaks before changing it? 13% or 26%? I'm going to go with 26%. Yes. What percent of women would let their friend borrow their mascara? Is it 57%? Or 44%. I'm going to say 57. Yep. What percent of women go to bed with their makeup still on on a regular basis? 21% or 9%? I'm going to go with 21. Yep. What percent of women find it satisfying to pull out long hairs that get stuck in their bum crack? 42% <laughs> or 66%? Now, this was in the would you rather category. Would you rather have to do this or what was the other one? Oh, pull out an ingrown hair or pull hair out of your butt. And now on this quiz... How many people find it satisfying? How many people like it? Okay, so 42% or 66%? I'm going 66% of people find it satisfying. Yep. Oh, that's the end of it. All right. Okay, this video is long ass hair. <laughs> Where it... 53 minutes. So I think that's good for now. I didn't get this done in 53 minutes, but hey, the turtle in the hair and the ass crack. Okay. I don't know how funny that is from your side of the, uh, the screen, but I didn't think the masturbation video was that funny either, and you guys did. So, anyway, um, till the next one. Bye, guys. What the hell happened to this channel? That was disturbing. I feel a little dirty and slightly amused. Okay. I don't know what, what that was. But anyway. Woo! Thanks for hanging it in there. Yeah. Good job.